Shaber 1000 here. We got Monkey over here beside me. Hey. Anyway, she's there. We're at beautiful Cedar Key. Hey. Gulf Coast. Gulf of Mexico. Right there. Here we are. We're going to do a little pier fishing. Yes, I love pier pressure. Crickets chirping. Okay, so we're going to do some fishing for you. And we're also going to show you some, we'll show you around the Cedar Key area. There's the restaurants over there and hotels. And we'll show you around a little bit. But first, I want to put a bend in this rod. Check you guys in a minute. Anyway, guys, we're going to seek some shelter and we're going to come back out. Hopefully, if it don't get too bad. just pulled out just in time for her to pull in so it's uh really coming down yeah. i know you can't tell but in the camera but yeah pros and cons of the gulf coast i guess we're gonna go get something to eat so i'll be back with you. this might just be a video of cedar key so <laughs> way over that way there was an old building that I filmed when we first got came down here. I filmed it with my cell phone right after we got together. It was right between where you see that corner building. It was right there. And I'll throw a clip of it in here. How are you? Look, I could climb right over and get onto that. And walk right over into that. Couldn't I? Cedar Key, Florida. Badass. Huh? This is so cool. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> You're on YouTube. So that way you'll see what it was. I think Irma took it out, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the way out. Yeah. So they ended up having to get rid of it completely. Yeah. Well, they were going to anyway. Yeah, but I think Irma just took it down. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go there. get. We're going to go get something to eat.
them things up against the wall like this. this and I didn't like it whoa you know yeah. I did not like it our boat didn't care yeah. it's scary in our little boat yeah it was. well we had three foot swells so which was bigger than these but I don't think we can lose that hmm I don't think we can lose that well the sea toe can move it why doesn't he pull and pull it up so it will stand up enough to get some of that water out of there? Because he's up against the wall. But he can't. Stop. Oh, God, nobody help me. Got the engine up against the wall. That's yeah. not good. an old ramp here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they used to have. Yeah. Just, just this. This trail wasn't here the last time we were here. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. 
because they had blocked us off. Look at the dead fish. Yeah. Too, but I mean, you can't, you can't, anybody. you can't walk away from the boat. And you can't get that close to it. You know. Yeah. He's gonna be whipped trying to save his boat. Try to get up. I want to get the water. Yeah. 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 Which they can do. Check this out, guys. I don't know how well the camera's picking it. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. There's a monkey. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, that's all the farther out I'm going. That's fun. Cool. Tito took that boat. I don't know. That must be them up there. Way out there. I know you can't see them. Maybe I can zoom in. I don't know why they're going clear out there, but he must be... I don't know. Alright. I just thought I'd show you this. This is pretty cool. Oh. Neato. The sea. She is angry, my friends. We just ate up there where you can see the blue balcony. We wasn't outside because it was raining, but we ate up there. That's where they had that real hot hamburger. But Monkey asked him about it because I didn't see it on the menu. They said they only do that. Whoa! They only do that hot burger in the winter time because people will. It makes people sick in the summertime. Wow! That was a lot of fun. I'll be back with you. Okay, got Oh shit. Okay, guys, we're at the tip of the end. I ain't going no more because my balance is not that great. But so that's pretty fun. We got you got towed that boat clear over there on that island, and these people are waiting on them to get back. Now this ramp here is rough as you can see it's rough seas now right over there on the other side there's like a little bay 
that they could load in. I'll take you over there in a minute and show it to you. But where it's just, it's just water. It's not like this, it's not rough. So I don't know why they didn't tell him over there, over to that one. You might be able to tell the water's not like this. I mean, especially if he's not under power, that's gonna be out of play right now. Not sure what's going on. Okay guys, so this out here is where we just left. That's the bouncy dock we were standing on. That's where that guy was trying to come in at. I don't know why he didn't come in here. Look at the difference. I would have came in here and not out there. You seen how rough that was? Two, three foot swells and come in here and look. All he would have had to do. I don't know. I don't even know how he got up against that wall. But, yeah, he could have came right in here. Yeah, it would be a lot this better. This is a ramp, so, I mean, yeah. wouldn't have had any problems. Because mm -hmm. it's like a little bay here, so. That's where could I was. went right under there and came right in here. Oh, well. Hmm starting to get dark over in there again. All right, we'll be back with you. Bunch of flip-flops and shoes in there. Okay guys, it looks like they went out and pumped some water out. So they're bringing them in here on the good side of the water. So that's good, at least they got some water pumped out. So, hate to see that happen. camera it was acting real weird so I don't know I got it working for her, but I think what happened if you don't get the card in right sorry about the wind the, the camera doesn't work right and it jarred the card sideways so take you guys i think we're gonna go to a cemetery before it gets dark it's getting late man we gotta leave start she had to go to excuse me she had to go to work today so uh when she got back she said 
Well, when she's on the way back, she was messaging me. We'll go to Cedar Key. And we didn't get over here until after three, I think, because it's an hour and 15 minutes from the house. So anyway, we'll see. We might go to the, we might go to the, um, man, I'm trying to get out of the wind here. This is where you pay your launch launch fees. Let me try to get out of this wind. Okay, so I'm out of the wind, but I got a diesel truck running over here. Um, but this cemetery is supposed to be haunted. We we talked to an officer. Uh, one of the first times we were here, we talked to an officer. He was really cool. It's hard to get away from, but he's he was telling us about some scary stuff that happened out there, and it was actually investigated by a team, a TV crew of some sort, but he couldn't remember who it was. But, uh, yeah, he said there was some weird goings-ons out there, so maybe we'll swing past there before we head back to the house. So, all right. I'm gonna wait on monkey. Okay guys, so this cemetery, remember I, I got a, I took a picture of that that anchor. Yeah. And there was a weird anomaly in it. But well we had talked to that cop earlier before and he told us how to get down here. Remember? Yeah. And we came down here. We ran into him again. And that's when he was telling us the story. We walked out there on that thing. There's a boardwalk there. Yeah. It goes way out. Um, this is a very old cemetery. It's supposed to be haunted. He was telling us some crazy stuff that happens out here. Yeah, I believe a woman walks through here. Yeah, there's supposed to be a woman. Remember we saw a woman. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. We saw a woman walking, and because he see it was it just got dark, and and so he comes around to lock the gates of the cemetery, mm -hmm. and. Um, he asked if any, anybody else was back here, and we said, yeah, there's a woman walking around. We didn't know the story yet, because he never told us the story about the cemetery. We was just asking him for things to do, and he said, down by the cemetery is a boardwalk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he told us out of gear, <clears throat> and we said, there's a woman walking around back there, like she's lost. He said, wearing a dress, and we was like, yeah, he goes, well, she's here all the time. She's a resident. <laughs> we was like, what? He says, yeah, that's a ghost. Mm -hmm. That's how we got into the ghost things. I think, what? did we walk through there and that's the park? Part uh, of the park? I, can't, I can't remember. Yeah, because the boardwalk goes back there. Yeah. You gotta walk back there. Yeah, we walked a lot. Yeah, that's when I can I walk. Wanna, I wanna park right here, okay? Why? So, unmarked graves, no vehicles be. I hope we're not on somebody's grave. Let's go up here and let's park on the road. Because, see, there's un there's unmarked graves here, so I don't know if there's any here. But, so, I just don't want to park on someone's grave. All right, this is good enough, yeah. Okay. And then we'll walk over here and I'll show you around some of this. Okay, guys, monkey's over there doing her thing so I'm gonna bring you over here my screen looks really dark uh, if there was something on the screen I'm sorry but I didn't notice it until just now because where I was filming at was I couldn't see it was brighter so I couldn't see so I'm sorry if there was something I just now noticed it on the lens not the screen but the lens but in here, this whole section I'm standing in, these are unmarked graves. So, I mean, I don't know. Oh, excuse me, I'm burping. I had this sandwich, ate this big old burger, and uh, it was called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, it was called that because of all the garlic garlic salt garlic sauce garlic cloves garlic pepper all kinds of stuff garlic in it and i tell you it was a it was excellent excellent sandwich but i couldn't uh, 
you know, I can taste the garlic, but now I'm burping it up, and every time I do, monkey's like, <laughs> well, a minute ago, a couple minutes ago, she was like, oh, I smell garlic. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's me. So it's getting worse. But anyway, glad you guys don't have smell of it. So, I guess you can put kayaks in here. But man, I wouldn't feel comfortable about that. But, yeah, over in there's um, walkways. There's like a little park over there and a stretching area for joggers, runners, and... Um, there's some there's some places for sale out here right on the water nothing we could ever afford or dream to afford but so we want to get our boat out and get it back in these channels and do some fishing back in here there's all kinds of hundreds of little islands back in here uh but yeah i don't want to get out there in the big water when it's that rough because she wants to take the boat over to them islands because one island I don't know if I videotaped it. I don't know if I filmed it, but that one island's got the lighthouse on it. We got to go up in and take a tour and stuff. It was pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, so that was it was very neat. I don't know if we could ever get out there or not. And a loving memory of our dear friend and artist, Dr. Virginia Neal who loved to paint here. Wow, so she used to come here and paint. Well, it is beautiful, it's windy, but we're on a golfer's monkey over there. But yeah, I forgot about that, about seeing that woman until she had mentioned it. And uh, yeah, that guy was like, because we saw her. And we was like, well, it's a good thing we you know, parked outside the gate. And she was like, well, there's a woman. And I seen her a couple times. She seen her a couple times. That guy was like, she wearing a dress? We're like, yeah. <laughs> She's a resident here. So here is a marked grave. I don't want to step in there, but I can't see what it says. And I don't want to step in there. So... Very old cemetery. Well, parts of it, you know what I mean? There's some newer stuff here. New, newer, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but. So there's Monkey checking out some of these old, old stones. There's all kinds of different, like there's a fenced off place. And there's a little fenced off place that's, you know, fenced, kind of fenced off. And, uh, all through the cemetery, different fenced off places. And there's a lot of these places right in here that are just unmarked. So, you know, back in the day, a lot of people didn't have money to put up markers, you know. 1888 to 1934. This is, uh, wow, 1962. They was born 1881. Wow. Nellie S. Jenkins, 1894 to 1986. I just shown you a couple of these. I'm not going to read all of them to you. But. <clears throat> World War II here, uh, World War II veteran, 1922, 1980. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like a lot of these, like this open spots here, there's graves here, you know, we're probably walking on some, which I hate, but I mean, you don't know where they're at. So, I mean, you'd think they'd take better care of these sections here, but they don't, looks like. But anyway, yeah, there's that sign that says unmarked graves, no vehicles beyond this point. So, you know, you can't go back in there. But that's, you know, that's fine. Same way here, she pulls off here, and I'm like, no, don't pull off here. So, all right, so she's up there checking things out. 
I don't know if she can read it or not. I doubt it. She can't see. I can't see that great. But I didn't have my glasses on. Could you read what that said? Could you read what that said? Yeah, I don't know what it said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. You can read that? No, I don't know. That's why I was asking you. I think the date is up on the top. No. There's something on top and then the name and that. It's too old. It's a shame. I don't know. Maybe the camera can pick it up. Maybe. Neat though, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Flower. But it's it's definitely old. Yeah. And there's a plaque over there about a woman in memory of their dear friend who used to paint here. Oh yeah? Yeah, she'd come out here and paint. Ah. So. Uh, see the park is over Beautiful. there, I believe, right? Yeah. 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 Where's the park? Cool. It's over there on that tree. Okay guys, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, this is the anchor. I took three pictures of this anchor and there was nothing in two of them. And uh, unfortunately I don't, I don't think I've got them pictures anymore. It was on one of my old phones, so I don't know what happened to them. But it's a pretty good size. It's a pretty good size anchor. But yeah, that cop was telling us about one of the, TV crews. He couldn't remember which one, but yeah, supposedly came out here. But he don't like to come out here at night, so he drives through and makes sure there's no one here, and then he'll lock that gate up there. And uh, we was parked outside the gate anyway, so when we was walking out, you know, he had pulled in, and that's when we got to talking to him about it. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty neat. So we're going to head and make our way back to the house and I'll see if I can find some more information on this. If I can, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, if I can remember, uh, I would tell you, but since I can't, <laughs> I'll have to look it up. But yeah, it was very interesting about a woman that walks around here in a dress. Now we seen her over in that section over there, right straight ahead there. And he said, yeah, that's where she's usually seen walking between stones over in that area. That's the only place she's seen. And we were coming on the back road. We were walking, like I said, and then we were going to come down through here and then out. And that's, uh, he said, that's where she's seen. So, but yeah, guys, so, all right. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for something interesting. And if not, the next clip will be the outro. So. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, so I've seen this here before. I don't think I've ever filmed it. So, used to be able to go up to it and stuff, but they put a fence around it now. But there's, I'm gonna show you something here that you can pause and read if you would like. Pat Matt Locomotive. <laughs> I should have put you on the tripod. I could have lifted you up there higher. But it's really cool. Sorry about the fence, but... Hole number three. Those those trains are really neat. There's something over here. Let's go see what this says. <coughs> but we've always, when we come back from Cedar Key, we've always wanted to stop, but it's always been late and dark. So I don't think I've ever filmed it. Land for this wayside park was donated to the people of Levy County, 
or Levy by Georgia Pacific Corps, 1969. Interesting. Nice little creek right there. Little stream. Uh, get you an image of this thing. Then we'll walk around to the other side. Let's see if I can. There you go. Yeah, last time we came through here, I don't believe the fence was here. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. But there's a sign that says surveillance cameras on site. But they're really protecting that, so that's cool. So no vandals get in there and do stuff they shouldn't, but it's very cool. Love these old trains. What to say? Nineteen fifteen. Yeah. Something ironworks. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, from Pennsylvania. But I could get that running. Oh, they're probably running. Throw some wood and coal in there and move it about three inches. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty, damn, bugs are really bad all of a sudden. So anyway, I wanted to show that to you. And we're on our way home. We're not quite halfway home, but close to halfway, so. There you go. Pretty neat. Sorry I can't get up in there, guys, but. Sorry. Awesome. I love old trains. See, there used to be tracks here that would run. I think they ran along. Well, I know they're on that side going that way. You can still see remnants of them over there on the other side of that road there. So, but yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so that's it. For this video, hope you enjoyed the trip to Cedar Key with us, huh, Mama? Yep. We didn't catch any fish, but that's okay. Yeah. Because you know, we still went fishing. We got to see some cool stuff. We got to tell you a little story. So you know, it's always fun when you get to get out of the house and go somewhere. It's only it's only an hour and fifteen minutes from our place, so yeah, not too bad. Nice little drive. Uh, nothing but country out through there, so. Um, a lot of swamp lands, but so all right, guys. With that being said, I'm gonna say Shea Bear the myth, the main legend. I'm gone for now. I'm trying to get in the light here somehow, but and I'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Monk. Bye. <laughs> so check out Monkey 1000 channel. She's gonna have a video up too. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye and take care. Thank you.